chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again If the length of each side of an equilateral triangle is increased by 2 units the area is found to be increased by 3 plus square root of 3 square units we have to find out the length of the side of that equilateral triangle we have already discussed and derived also that the formula of an equilateral triangle in terms of its side is square root of 3 by 4 into the square of the side of the equilateral triangle so with this formula in mind we can see that we have been given square root of 3 by 4 into a plus 2 whole square minus a square is equal to 3 plus square root of 3 a plus 2 whole square is the new area when the side is increased by 2 units see that it is multiplied by square root of 3 by 4 and subtract from it the earlier area when there was no increase the difference will be obtained by this expression and this will be given equal to 3 plus square root of 3 so now what we can see is that an equation is already there in front of us we have to simply solve this equation for a and whatever the value we get for a will be our answer the length of the side so we have to now simplify this expression let us come to this side to simplify this expression a plus 2 whole square minus a square can be written equal to this is x plus y whole square so you can see that this part is the opening of this square of a this is the 2ab part and this is the y square that is the square of 2 4 and minus a square is kept like that only we can also see that we can cut this a square and cut this a square so what will we be left with is 4 into a plus 1 this is 4 into a plus 1 now come back to this side this is simplified as 4 into a plus 1 so we can quickly write that which implies square root of 3 by 4 into 4 into a plus 1 should be equal to 3 plus square root of 3 we can quickly cancel this 4 out and there is another interesting possibility that we can write this immediately equal to square root of 3 into square root of 3 plus 1 you can see that this square root of 3 and this square root of 3 will take me back to 3 and this square root of 3 multiplied by 1 will be give me square root of 3 the purpose is as you must have already seen that i will be able to cancel this and this also so now i have a very simple thing that is left which implies a plus 1 is equal to square root of 3 plus 1 and here also i can immediately remove this one from both the sides and my answer is a is equal to 
square root of 3 and this will be in sorry this will be in units so whatever the units are so this will be a is equal to square root of 3 units which is the answer let us move to our next question now the ratio of the areas of the circumcircle and the incircle of an equilateral triangle is what? Now, this is the circumcircle because it contains the entire equilateral triangle and we already know that if the side of the equilateral triangle is A, then the radius of that is if I mark this as capital R then this radius of the circumcircle which we have already discussed this radius is given by the formula A by square root of 3 this is the well-known formula for the circumcircle of an equilateral triangle and on the similar lines if the radius of the incircle is r then the value of this r is known to be from our discussion 2 by square root of 3 incircle is the circle contained inside the equilateral triangle and its radius is r and its value we have seen is a by 2 square root of 3. Now you can observe something interesting. Can you see that this r is half of capital R. a by square root of 3 this 2 comes down so we can write we know that we know that the value of capital R is 2 times the incircle, the radius of the incircle. This is a very important result which will always come handy to you in questions that involve an equilateral triangle and the incircle and the circumcircle. This result is very important. Now let us find out the required ratios. The area of the circumcircle, we can write required ratio, required ratio, will be equal to pi into r square by pi into r square. Now most of you would have immediately seen that the radius is 2r and this will be written as pi into 2r whole square by pi into r square which immediately becomes this will be 2 square 4 pi r square and pi r square and r square can be cancelled out so we get 4 here and therefore 4 is to 1 is the required answer. I always prefer giving shorter solutions so the most interesting thing that I would stress is that be aware of this formula. Let us move on to our next question now. Lengths of the perpendiculars from a point in the interior of an equilateral triangle that is this point is any point that is why I have drawn it not in a very symmetrical way. Let me call this point as O. O is any point inside this equilateral triangle whose side is small a. 
the lengths of the perpendiculars to the sides are 3, 4 and 5. Let me mark this as 3 cm. This I can mark as 4 cm and this I will mark as 5 cm. And since these are perpendiculars, let us draw these boxes also. They will help us remind that these are perpendiculars. We have to find out the area of the triangle, entire triangle. I will mark it as A, B and C. We only know the lengths of the perpendiculars from a random point. No information has been given and we have to find out the area of the complete triangle. The best thing to start in such cases, this point is O. The best thing to start is to join the vertices to this point O. I will show you what happens. This leads me to three triangles. One is this C, O, B and C. And back to O. So this lower part. The second is, see this one, O to A to C and back to O. And thirdly, O to A, A to B, B to O. These three triangles, we know the height of all the three triangles as you can see. And the basis of all the three triangles can be taken as small a. There is now a possibility of a window. Let us write the sum of the areas of these three triangles. Start with this lower one. We can orally write that half of the base into the height 3 plus half of the base into height 4 plus half of the base into height 5. This one is the lower triangle 3 height. This is for the height 4. This is for the height 5. The sum of these should be equal to the area of the complete equilateral triangle can be written as square root of 3 by 4 into a square. This is the formula that we already know. Now what about the left hand side? This we can take half a common. This 3 plus 4 will be 7 plus 5 will be 12. So let us write it. It is half of a into 12 is equal to square root of 3 a square by 4. Now we can cut this 2 and on 6. There is another possibility that this a and this a square. So I will cut this a and this square. Now what do I have? I can now write which implies that a is equal to take this 4 to the other side bring square root of 3 down. So it will be 24 by square root of 3. Now I have to find out the area of the triangle. The area of the triangle is required and I already have A with me. Now either you can put this A into the standard formula square root of 3 A square by 4 or you can put A into this one also because the left hand side when it was not cut was 6A half of A into 12 
we can cut this to 6, it will become 6a. This is one of the ways. So, you can write required area is equal to 6 times a from this expression, this one. Let me mark this so that there is no possibility of any confusion. So, we can write it is equal to 6 multiplied by 24 by square root of 3. Substitute it here. Now, I can just rationalize it. Square root of 3 by square root of 3. And these two square roots of 3 will become 3 and cancel out this 6 on the table of 2. So, my answer would be 2 into 24 48 and the square root of 3 which is the answer. Let us move to our next question now. If the numerical value of the perimeter of an equilateral triangle is square root of 3 times the area of it, then the length of each side is what? We have to find the length. So, let us start by writing let A be the required length. We have been given the numerical value of the perimeter. So, we can write, we have been given 3a is equal to square root 3 times the area. As simple as that, square root of 3 multiplied by the formula for the area, which is square root of 3 by 4 into the square of the side. So, we can just bring it into a bit easier form. 3a is equal to square root 3 and square root 3 combined to 3 a square by 4. Now, we can remove this 3 cancels away and we can also cancel out this a on this power of 2. So, what do we get? Which implies a is equal to 4. This a goes 4 to that side. So, we get a is equal to 4 is the answer. This I can write is given and the rest of the solution is not even 5 seconds. Let us move to our next question now.